Oh man, it's a beautiful day. Sweet. Oh my gosh, these people are here already. Oh my god, I didn't even see you guys there. Hi, well, friends. I guess they're here to check out the brand new Blue Eddy AC200 super sweet power station we got sitting right here in between us. Yeah, that thing looks amazing. It is on Indiegogo right now. Most funded power station in history, so that's a good sign. Um, but the pricing is gonna go up on August 18th. Right now, it's $12.99. So make sure to check out the link below to the Indiegogo so you can scoop yourself up one of these for a real good price. Yeah. Well, we're gonna try to power the AC on the Sprinter van off it and a bunch of other goodies. So let's dive into some details. All right, so this thing is like 2,000 watts. Um, there's tons of power stations out there though. I've had, I don't know, six or seven now. So I wanna go over first some things that I think are different about this little guy. It looks a little different, doesn't it, Jason? It does. Yeah. These are wireless charging ports. So there's two places you can put your phone. Um, I can put my phone and your phone. What? Just put them on top and they start charging. I thought that's where you're supposed to cut out the drink holders. <laughs> it's alive. Ah, dang it. It's alive. From any, I've never seen any other power station with that. This is my favorite button. Wait for it. Ooh. You click that button on. This is definitely the best. The best button <laughs> that I've had on a power station. It's the best one on that, anyway. Right? Because where are the buttons? Here, I'm going to... Oh, good question. I'm going to let you do the honors here and see what you think. Because I've clicked this a couple times. So click that in there, down there, DC. You see DC off? Bam. And then click that on. Boom, now your DC's on. 100%. So touch screen. I love that it gives you a audible beep um other thing is uh, what else is cool with this oh yeah it can take in 700 watts of solar panels you got 700 watts of solar panels up there no well shoot we gotta put some more <laughs> <laughs> just to give you guys some perspective on the dodge mahal what i have 250 watt panel and i had 125 amp hour agm deep cycle battery this is a lithium battery all power stations these days pretty much are but um, it's kind a, of the standard now, yeah? Yeah. Swede's got dual handles here. It is heavy, of course, because it's a big unit, but it can handle a lot. Also, six AC ports. That's quite a bit. Let's try to power some stuff. It powers a fan! No way! Ah, oh, so nice. Ah. Oh. So does this mean I can stop now, bro? Yeah, I guess you're good, man. We got the shot. <laughs> Thank you. Asus Gaming Laptop. Super power high power draw. <laughs> it works. This thing powered to 8,000 BTU AC and a 5,000 BTU AC. I think we got some calculations to do to Those. see if it can power this AC. Those are impressive numbers. I'm glad that you have a piece of paper because I couldn't figure that out. Will you come in? Here, let's, let's let me grab little, this. Just get a little closer. See. Let's use this as a tabletop here. Oh, look at that. It's also a table. <laughs> So I'm no math and magician, but by my calculations, this unit right here is down to mob. Down to mob? Yes, sir. Down to mob, which means we can plug it in your AC and it's going to mob your AC. That's what I'm talking about. Look at the big brains Boom. on Brad. Seriously, though, uh, <laughs> 8 plus 5 is 13,000. This is 13,005. I, I think it'll work. Let's try it Let's out. Let's try it out. Hey, Bob, <laughs> will you bring the cord around? Yeah, you got it, buddy. Not, not the corduroy, the quarter round. <laughs> uh, plug this AC in and see if the Blue Eddy can give us some AC because it's a little hot out here in the Arizona sun. Oh, 
What are you doing back there? You plugged it? Plugged on in, buddy, ready to go. All right, cool. Let's see how this works here. Oh my gosh, it's 860 watts. No way. Is it on? No. Oh, it's not on yet? Nope, you ready? All right, let's turn it on. I'm gonna do it really slow in stages so it doesn't trip anything. Yeah. All right. Oh, low fan's on. The low fan's on right now, so we're drawing 816 watts. High fan is on. So we just got fans on. Going to low cool. All right, do it, my brother. 1700 watts, 1800. Stand by for the compressor kick on. Is it gonna go higher wattage? I don't know. We're already down to 99%. 1800 watts, no way. It feels like it's cooling, brother. So we're already at 98%, so this was at 100%. So it's cooling, it is working in here. Oh my gosh, yeah. I can feel that. Wow! Do you feel how cold it's getting? No way! The Blue Eddy did it. It's probably at 97 or 96 already though. That's so impressive though. It's impressive. So if you had 700 watts solar max, you'd be bringing in about half of what you're putting out right now. Yeah. So you could realistically, you could run this for maybe an hour or two. Yeah. I don't know, I'm just guessing. We can, we can we'll monitor see, it. We'll monitor it and we'll see. We don't have to power anything else off of this. No. So we can, this is just a test. And so. this is on low cool. I didn't do high cool because I didn't want the, the speed of the fan or something to possibly trip a breaker. That's why I did it in short stages. Good thinking. You must have done some calculations. Calculations? I'm no mathematician. We are no mathematician. You can hear it like <laughs> Like the supersonic. Okay, so it's still pulling. 1800 watts it's at 96% now but I mean the fact that it's not just running just this thing off. completely dry or that it didn't just shut off yeah that's huge that's pretty phenomenal I mean most so just to put it in perspective I've tried to run this AC off of like a Honda 2000 watt generator and every time the compressor kicks on, it trips the breaker and shuts it off. So this right now is performing better than a 2000 watt generator. Are you serious with yeah. gas in it? With gas a hole. What? And this, you don't pay for gas, it's free. Wow, so what are we at now? We're at 95%, 1848 watts. Wow, it is cooling off the van right now. Seriously impressed. We could have run this for a half hour maybe and cooled it down. It's nice and insulated in here. So it is actually uh, like we're doing a test today, but this could be practical. You know, and what's funny too is I'm in here flipping lights on and stuff, not realizing that that's running everything. So even with a couple lights, it didn't trip it. It's still working. Yeah. Oh yeah. So that's yeah, that's impressive. running everything right now. What else? I'm like super blown away by it. Max fan, see if it trips it. No, it's good. No, it's still on. <laughs> We're running an entire Sprinter van off this thing right yeah. now with the air conditioning on. Okay, come on. That's, That's ridiculous, <laughs> dude. That's freaking awesome. Honestly, blowing me away. Right? And so, for people who live full time, hearing something like this, using it for AC, getting it actually charged up might be tough. We're going to go back to your place here today. We can run this thing dry, and I mean, it's good. You want to leave them at least 20% battery is what they say. And then we can recharge this. Recharge so you it. could legitimately use this we could for air conditioning. It. We could like on weekend it on trips. the ride home because I've got 110 in-house. That's true too. So even if you were full-time, you could recharge it on the way to your next spot. Um, if you had 700 watts of solar or up there or more. Or if you just went off of your alternator and had a... Well, that's right. They have the you can charge it off a cigarette lighter too. Yep. So, let's see how it's doing. This is nuts, man. Possibilities are endless. I keep wanting to check the the screen though, because I'm like, we're putting it through the ringer. <laughs> but uh, you can still see 91 percent, 90 percent. About five or ten minutes, it's taking 10 percent. So it uses a ton of power. Let's like. 
I don't want it to be a misconception that this is like something you can just run your AC all day. No, um, but it works. The fact that it works to even run it for a little bit. You know what would be Like good? a half hour, I think. Half hour, yeah, 45 run minutes, it, it'll run it. has got a pet in there. Like turn yeah. the AC on, let them, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's plenty enough for that. But just the fact, just the plain and simple fact that it hasn't tripped with the AC on, mm -hmm. that tells you everything else if you're just camping and not using AC, this is gonna last you weeks. Air conditioning is absurd to try to run off grid. It is. Like the people that I know who've done it successfully have over a thousand watts of solar and usually at least six, 800 watt, uh, amp hours of lithium battery. This is 140 amp hours. Or they hours, carry so. like a huge generator, a 3500 generator or a yeah. couple 2000s to- Dude, I'm putting my hand up all like this, like totally covering your face. What a jerk. <laughs> It is cool in here. Let's get in here. Oh yeah, it is. Nice, dude. Let's see what the temperature is. Oh, it's so cool up there. Awesome. I can't believe how well this thing Let's works. See what the temperature is. 75. Dang, 75. Wait, bro, that's a calculator. Oh, ah. This fan over here is just whipping. I haven't actually heard this fan kick on yet. Holy cow, though, it's really blowing some air out because this thing is just doing work. It looks like, according to my calculations, that this thing is going down approximately 10% every five to six minutes. That's pretty gnarly, but it's also gnarly that it still runs it. Yeah. Which is ridiculous. That's still over an hour. Yeah, so... It, you exactly hit the nail on the head when you said it earlier. An hour, an hour and a half. I mean, I just, I got a, I got a knack for these things. Blue Eddie is for me. Blue Eddie is green. <laughs> I think I'm in the shot, right? Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, really fun test with the old Blue Eddie AC200. That was awesome, yeah. I had a good time doing it. Yeah, it was fun, right? I, I, I honestly didn't think it was gonna run the AC, and the fact that it did it and just continued running it, I'm like, man, this thing is killer. It's a powerhouse. We were actually just talking, we just turned the camera off, and you were like, I actually think I might need to buy one of these. <laughs> Absolutely, I do. Yeah. Yeah. So if you guys are thinking the same, check out the Indiegogo. Um, like I said, on August 18th, the price jumps. Right now it's $12.99. I'm pretty sure it's going to $15.99. It's worth every Screaming penny of that. Screaming deal. Screaming but, deal. The technology that's in it. Yeah. The power that's in it. The ease of use that's in it. I mean, I've never seen it in person until you brought it here. And it was yeah. like, just push a button, man. Yeah. Just push a button. Now, we didn't mention any downsides because, I mean... I don't see a whole lot. The biggest thing is it's a big, heavy power station. If you're going camping on a weekend trip and you want to charge your cell phone, this is overkill. You might not need this gnarly of a power station is the only thing I maybe would consider. But if you're trying to be off grid, power in a fridge and just, hey, your, your friends, hey, can I plug this in? And you'd be, yeah, yeah, dude, take it up. This is probably the, the thing this for you. This is it. Yeah. This is it, yeah. But comment below and let us know what you think. Definitely go subscribe to this guy's YouTube channel, Happy's Trails. Happy's um, Trails. Happy's Trails. Yeah, hit that thumbs up. Uh, you got to subscribe. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers, so I'm super stoked. And uh, thanks for being along for the ride. I think the only question is, are you down, down to mob? mob? Woo! Kick you out of here. <laughs> Boom! <Boo! laughs>